at 615, a high-tech tool to keep tabs on sex offenders in New Jersey. It provides continuous, real-time tracking of high-risk offenders. The equipment has already been used in a pilot program, and now the governor has made it permanent. But some worry it could be abused. We get details from NBC10 investigator Harry Harrison. He's live in Hamilton Township outside Trenton. Harry? Well, you know, Tracy, about 15, 20 years ago, you were hard-pressed to find people talking about tracking sex offenders. But the mother of a little girl who was right here, who was murdered right here by a pedophile who was living with two other pedophiles back in 1994, well... She went to bat, she got Mega's Law, and now she is very happy that this GPS system is going to be in place permanently. That lets us know that, you know, the, the worst of the worst that they've released from prison, you know, are monitored. Prayer and determination helped Maureen Kanka cope with the brutal 1994 rape and murder of her seven-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Megan. Kanka fought the courts to create Megan's Law, which makes public the names and often the addresses of convicted sex offenders living across the country. This is State Parole Board. Now in New Jersey, the high-tech GPS tracking program just got the boost it needed. The 24-7 GPS tracking program started as a pilot two years ago, set to expire last week. But Governor John Corzine signed legislation making the program permanent. There's at least 45 or 50 that we've identified now that are offenders that are tier three. The system is designed to use this ankle bracelet and GPS technology to keep track of the most violent sex offenders walking among us. This is movement over the past 24 hours. So you can see the point we're looking at yesterday is 8:12 which is yesterday, um, this is about 7.30 in the evening. Thomas Rosenthal of the New Jersey Public Defender's Office says he's for tough monitoring of the violent and dangerous sex offenders, categorized as Tier 3. But he says he's concerned that the state at some point may add all sex offenders to the program. Our concern is that we don't want to see this program slip into those who may not be as great a risk. But that's exactly what Kanka says she wants. Nobody has that crystal ball to determine who is a tier one that is going to turn into a tier three. No one knows that for sure. And Maureen Kanka says, although she is very excited about the fact that this GPS system is now going to be permanent here in the state of New Jersey, she wants to see even more done. She says she still does not believe that there is enough information about sex offenders online with that information ready for other people to see. Reporting live in Hamilton Township, Harry Harrison, NBC 10 News.